Hello. Uh, welcome back. I made it. I'm so excited. I get to stream again this week. The power is still on. And uh, no emergencies, so I get to stream twice this week, so that's great. Uh, we're going to continue working on the chimp drawing that we're working on on Tuesday. I am currently just kind of getting rid of some of the little eraser pieces with an old brush that I found, an old clean brush. I should say that. Don't just use any brush. Make sure it's clean. I'm sketching out some ideas. So we're gonna work on that today. I'm gonna start down. Actually, I'm trying to think. You know what? Let's start up here. So when I'm working on Oh my gosh, I forgot my, I'll be right back. Let me get my glove. So um, I'm working on, I just posted on Instagram today, a picture of um, my new line drawing that will be um, shown for the first time here in LA, April 27th. Um, and so when I work on a large drawing, a lot of times I work it out a couple different times in the small drawing. So this is kind of my um, nod to that drawing. I like to kind of reference, especially the large works and some of the smaller works at the show kind of to show them my art's all kind of a continuation off of the idea. So I'm still working out a lot of the, the line in my head. So I like to kind of revisit it as much as possible in the other drawings. So I have him kind of, I haven't worked out the details yet. I wonder if you could see if I wrap my arm around here. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. And so I'm referencing a couple different drawings here. Um, I thought this would be fun. Uh, so here's the bunny that I've been working on the past couple weeks. And here's the little mountain line on the bunny in a slightly different position. So I'm just saying kind of referencing it. And I'm also referencing my new line drawing. And so it'll be fun when this is up in the show with all these other drawings to see how they all kind of tie in together. Because they are kind of all a continuation of the previous idea. And since I work on so many drawings together, it's kind of a way for them all to continue the story. So here's a beautiful Bon Bon. On top of this lion. And I probably should draw the line first so there's not going to be as much for my arm to drag across. So I'm going to come down here and start working on this lion. We're having another rainy day here in California. So much rain this year. It's been very cozy. And our hills are beautiful bright green right now. Hopefully they'll stay green for a while. going oh thank you so what I'm learning from drawing I dr I've been drawing lines a lot and I have been for the past many many years um, the cool thing about the lines main that I like it for the most part, it's kind of lighter, and then it goes into kind of a darker. Yes. Oh, what what is the line sleeping on? Um, it's going to be kind of like a plank, like a really thin plank of wood, um, because down here, 
These guys are on like wooden stilts or wooden platforms and they're going to kind of be all over the water here. Um, so that's kind of just what popped into my head the other day. Actually, what I was watching was a nature video on the um, bears uh, hunting for salmon. And so then this idea, and this is how my brain works. It went from bears hunting to salmon to like these bears being in water on stilts and on platforms. I guess that's kind of how like <laughs> my brain took the information and synthesized it. Oh, well, thank you. I do work on these quite often off of the camera too because otherwise they never get anything done. <laughs> they take so much time. I'm going to use my little guy, where is he? This one right here. Because this is quite small now. And I want to blend out his little his little triangle nose right there. There we go. See him starting to kind of come together here in the face. So I'm drawing a little guy here, but the big guy, it's going to be another eight foot drawing is in the dining room over there. And I just shared a picture of that on Instagram, or at least where it was a little bit ago. So this outside part here is going to be a little bit darker. And then the area that kind of kind of shapes the face on the lion's mane is generally a little bit lighter, which I just love drawing. So we spend lots of money at the hair salon to look like and they get it. They get it naturally. Slowly building up the layers. Oh, I just saw that. Does that say Java's twin? <laughs> Thank you. It's funny. So I'm just kind of building up the layers really slowly. I don't want to go too fast because this kind of sky here is pretty pristine. So any marks that I make are going to permanently kind of stay up here so I have to make sure I'm happy with where everything is 
size wise and all of that. Then I've got some cool things I can do kind of with the lighthouse. Um, see how this, let me move this down. See how this light kind of comes out here? You can imagine where it's going to hit here, which would kind of be across this bunny. So I could do something really fun after I colored in with kind of maybe highlighting the bun a little bit more and maybe highlighting the rim of this mountain goat here. I decided to have one eye open, one eye close in this line. Always watching. So I have them on this little, really thin wooden platform. I mean, it could be any material really, but I was imagining kind of a wooden platform. detail point on this has come in handy a lot. Sometimes I like to break my erasers in half so I can use that. Oh, I just made a mark across his nose. I'm holding this pencil. Gives me like a really sharp point. So I can kind of Pull out the highlight a little bit more. Sorry, getting comfortable readjusting myself. I, I kind of tweak, tweak my, my back, back a little bit, bit my neck, neck so I'm a little bit, bit like a little uncomfortable, not, not too bad. right in there I'm kind of doing this little paw pads I don't know if it can see that detail Ooh, let me see what this is hello oh my gosh I get so many of those stupid um, telemarketers but they're not even just the recordings that I'm getting 
once I get one, I get like 10 in a row. It's so weird. A little kneaded eraser out now. Just trying to bring up really subtle, subtle tone changes right here in the paw. I think I want his chin to kind of overlap. Oh, thank you. I love The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I used to read it and watch the old animated movie when I was a kid. I loved that. That was one of my favorite movies and books. The super, super crazy world, Narnia. Narnia. I, I thought, thought, oh, I could live there. there. I was always kind of jealous, jealous when I was a kid. I wanted to be there. there. So now I just make up my own world. I'm still using, um, oh actually, I skipped to the 4B. I thought I was using a 2B. 4B's got a little bit more tone to it, which is okay because I'm kind of ready now to kind of darken this mane here, the, the second part to this lion's mane, I'm using, uh, this time I'm using the kind of doll tipped Q-tip. Spread just a little bit of tone. Pupil of the lion. I can't really see it on that, but So a little bunny's foot would be.
tail kind of wrapping around. Yeah, this poor tail got a little too thin right there. Let's even that out. There we go. This is the, the ridge of the platform he's on. Okay, so I've got to figure out now how I would like to connect this panel. I was thinking of having kind of like cables or strings coming. It would like attach it to these lighthouses. You can see I kind of like lightly did it over here. Um, but I am going to try to find a straight edge for that. I can use pretty much anything. It's got a good edge to it. This is the Q-tip box. Mm. Have this one go in the window. Actually, both of these would kind of go in through the window there. This side, what about maybe one going up through this window, and one going through that window, so how about this one just to the wall? I don't know, I'll think about it for a minute.
Excuse me. Got a message. Building up a little bit of fur layers onto the bunny or bun bun. Okay, starting to come together. So sore. Oof. Sore from what? Oh, <laughs> oh! Yesterday, uh, uh, I had a boot camp class, so we did uh, weight training and uh, we lifted some weights, and now, now I'm recovering. It's a good sore, but I should probably get up and walk around and stretch every couple minutes. When I work on the large works, that's what I do. I like kind of every 15 minutes, kind of walk around, stretch. It's harder because I'm at my desk right now. Oh my gosh, sorry. Oh. You have my knee eraser a little bit for this guy. Imagine the light from this is kind of hitting him. Her, sorry. Bun is a female.
Oh, you know what was in his ear is I that I didn't complete. It was one of those um, moths that look like hummingbirds that I saw when I was in Arkansas. They they move just like hummingbirds. They act like hummingbirds, but they're actually like a moth. That's what that is there, and I, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it there, but that's what I was thinking of. For Yosemite recommendations, <laughs> uh, for like family vacation, or where to hike in Yosemite. Oh, hello. Tell me I said hi. Oh my gosh. Let me think. Yosemite. Ooh. It's been a while. I mean, the the main lodge down there is, is gorgeous, but it's like super pricey and books like way ahead. And all the, I mean, all the hikes are fantastic. Um, I like going up to like the high, uh, the high uh, meadow, which is Tuolumne. Tuolumne is kind of, um, you, you can approach it from the backside of the mountain or you go through the valley and you go up and then into Tuolumne. I love hiking uh, Tuolumne Meadows up there. It's like a high alpine meadow. Are you going to go soon? Like when there's still snowpack or is that a summer thing? Because Tuolumne I think is sometimes is closed in the winter. Um, I've, I've camped up in Tuolumne. There's a campground in Tuolumne and I think there might be rustic cabins but I can't remember. Um, and then I've camped down in um, the valley too, just Yosemite Valley. There's a campground. I've never done any kind of lodging other than just camping in Yosemite Park because, you know, it's super pricey and I was always backpacking. So we would just backpack in and then stay in the campgrounds in the, in the valley. Cause then you can, you know, get all the restaurants and then you can rent bikes and go to some of the smaller trails and all of that. Likely during snow melt. Okay. Uh, yeah, I went, I love Tuolumne, so, um, but then the valley is just, it's just gorgeous. Uh, I, I can't really recommend any places, because like I said, I've only camped, I've only camped in Yosemite, but there's places like right outside too, you know, so if everything's full in the, in the park, or if you don't want to spend, I don't even know how much a night it is to stay at the lodge now. But you can make reservations for dinner there, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, you're welcome. I don't know how much help I have. It's been a long time, but I'd like to take my daughter, too, to go to Yosemite soon and do some hiking. But my, like I said, my favorite, my favorite there is the Tuolumne. And then, of course, there's Half Dome. There's all that. Um, and those are cool hikes, too. The waterfall, Brideville Falls, Brideville, Brideville Falls. It's all beautiful. Can't go wrong there. Or just hanging in the valley and renting a bike is fun. I've got this tiny little mountain goat up here. Let me see if I can get a really sharp tip on here.
Oh, you can't even see it. Let me put this down. There. So there's just the tiniest of tiniest. Not a mountain goat, bighorn sheep. That's right. Somebody had messaged me about that to get my animals correct here. I can draw animals before I can always remember their names. It's really tiny, but he's there. Okay, I think we got those guys pretty much worked out. I'll come back um, and clean them up later. Let's move down here to our bears on stilt. Down in this corner over here. Okay, we'll start with this guy just so I don't have to drag my, my hand across more finished work here. Where did I get to this? So I'm actually going to just kind of go over him and give it overall tone right now. So you can see it. There we go. Just, just laying down tone.
oh my gosh, I'm drawing again so you can't see. I'm just working on his feet connecting to the stilts. some of these sketch marks that are in here and highlight some anatomy on this bear I'm not going to finish it all the way because I'm just, I kind of want to block out this composition a little bit better here before I, I take these bears to finish.
Rufus is dreaming behind me. Can you see him? They are fast asleep on the couch. I've got to work on this a little bit more and, and get them kind of popping uh, foreground, background. Look at Ozzy, it's a little guy. Can you see his little tail's going? Oh, they're so cute. Actually just using the tone to, to kind of knock it all down. Really light gray now. You can see when I come in and pull highlights like how it will stand out. Tip of that off.
Okay. Yeah, I should probably get going. I have a little bit of time to work on the large drawing before I pick up my daughter from school, so I think I should probably, let me check and see what time I have to get her. Yeah, I better get going. Okay, uh, thank you everybody for joining, and um, hopefully I'll be back next Tuesday to continue work on this drawing. Let me kind of zoom out so you can see the, the progress we've been making. Here we go. There's our Amish to the other drawings up there. And we have a whole bear fest happening down here. So um, again, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch. And uh, hope everybody has a fantastic rest of their day.